Welcome to the club. I'm your host, Mars Stradamus, and this is the Upper 90 Club, a roundtable podcast where five friends discuss the Columbus crew. On this episode, we review the yin and yang of last week's results. First Wednesday's 2-0 home win against the Galaxy. Uh, who saw that coming? And the whirlwind roller coaster nail biter, totally avoidable, but somehow still inevitable. <laughs> Lost to our Ohio <laughs> rivals to the South FC Cincinnati mm. in Cincinnati mm. on Saturday. Ouch. And speaking of yins, uh, we'll preview Cruz U.S. Open Cup round of 16 match in Pittsburgh on Wednesday, a.k.a. May 24th, a.k.a. the day of this podcast. Two days from now, what is time? <laughs> It's at 7 p.m., which is a new time for a game, uh, as well as our match in Nashville on Saturday with kickoff at, wait for it, 8.30 p.m. You shut your mouth. Because it's an hour what? later. That's why you had to wait for it. Uh, oh, central time. It's our first central time game. Is that right? Hmm. Yeah. It's got to be, because we always complain about the, the other time. Okay. Um, we have a crew to update from President Bird Ta-da! at some point mixed in the mix there. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Twitter uh, at Upper 90 Club Pod and watch us on YouTube at Upper 90 Club. With me in the club are Ben, Mort, Trey, and Haas. Say hi, guys. Hello. hello. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Hell is real. Hell is real. Yeah, so... Uh, is it real? We had two games, two, <laughs> two, league, <laughs> two league games last week. Um, and we could have gone to both. Ben, which did you go to? Neither one of them. <laughs> Didn't go to either one of them. Okay. Did you get to watch them live? Did you do anything ceremonious, or were you just kind of what was I? Well, actually, down in no, a hole. More you get, you had tickets for me or something. Like you're like, hey, I think I can get you a ticket. And I was like, great, but it my I what did I say? I think my brother was supposed to come over and tell us he was having like yeah. a third kid. And it was going to be a thing, and then they just literally he came over and he was just like, we all sat down. He's like, he's like everybody here knows. Yep. Ben, do you know? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, we have a third kid. And I was like, I could have gone to the I was game. Like, I gonna. I said I'm gonna try really hard to get Ben to a game because it's a bad look that he's not at the yeah. game. Yeah, I mean, real he needs bad. To get out. Real bad. And he deals for the kids. We've been catching like some that, some flack on on the internet. Yep. So yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So no, no, no. And you didn't go to Cincinnati. No. Uh, Mort, what about you? You went to the game, didn't I went- you? I went to Cincinnati, but I didn't go to the game. But I, yeah, I went to the Galaxy game. That was kind of a boys thing, I guess. Okay. Uh, ben didn't want to go with me, so <laughs> I, uh, I took my friend John to the game. Uh-huh. We had a good time. But, and so you went to and, Cincinnati, but you didn't go to the game. Is that? Yeah, is yeah. Here's the thing: this is, we we went to a soccer tournament with my son. Boo! And, uh, <laughs> Sell him. Champions. <laughs> no, I love Finn. He's got he's. Well, no, Champions. no, yeah, but we had, we had a, we had a seven thirty game on Sunday. We wanted to take the kids down there and everything, but since we had a seven thirty game on Sunday, which is ridiculous, by the way, I don't like that. Yeah, um, we we didn't go and we just uh, had a watch party at the hotel, which was a ton of fun. Yeah, we saw lots of pictures wow. from that most of the time. Most of yeah, the time. Most until of the time. it yeah. wasn't. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, it probably wasn't good, and then it, it was fun, good, it was and then fun. it wasn't good again. Right? <laughs> yeah. Stressful. What about you, Trey? <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Trey? Uh, both games watched from home. Um, wasn't able to make it out to the Wednesday night game. Had men's league, and Saturday, um, multiple graduation parties. Plus, it was my son's birthday, so we had a party here at the house and. Weren't going to travel all the way. How old is he now? So, 47. He is, yes, minus 45. So he's two. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. What about you, Haas? I was at the Galaxy game. Then I caught the Cincy game down at Land Grant. Okay. It was a party. So how was that? Yeah. Slammed some yeah. Ray Rays. It was a good time. Oh, man. Mm, that that's awesome. Great. Yeah, I wish I would have done that. Great. Actually, well, yeah, I, I had a show Saturday, so I got to watch the game like in spurts. 
And I think there's mm-hmm. actually video of me playing the show where I keep checking my phone. <laughs> I think someone had it. <laughs> and I was like playing it. I was like, just like kind of stare over at the phone. But yeah, it was fun. Well, yeah. So and just real quick on that, where did you play? And it sounds like they didn't have the game on at the bar. No, and it wasn't a bar. It was like this this garage. It was almost like a private show at um mm. this this guy's uh like house apartment. It was awesome. I can't I can't get into how crazy it was, but the the place he had was this like unique little island where he had like a spiral staircase coming down like the center of this like house and mm. it was crazy. I wish I would have taken photos and That's like cool. you go up and like he he walks off his balcony and he can see like downtown. It's he is he's like in the brewery district, but he has this huge garage and the sound was amazing and he works on like motorcycles mm. in there. It's a guy I've like kind of known for a while because like I rode motorcycles and he rode motorcycles, but they were they was awesome and the bands were super good. Like super I wanted good. to pop over after Land Grant, but I figured I would have missed your set already. So yeah, I don't want you driving with all the sure. tears. In your eyes. Oh, I was sure. Ubering. Sure, Uber I feel boy. Like, I feel like I'm like cool mm. enough to hang with you, Uber boy. Yeah. All right. Well, so let's jump back to Galaxy on Wednesday. Um, we'll, we'll keep it keep it quick. Um, lineups, real quick. Haas looked a little different. Yeah. So we'll go through that. Real we quick. had Zellerayan, Cucho, and Ramirez up top. We had Amundsen getting his first start, left wing back. Nagby Morris in the middle, Matan playing right wing back, Fiasia, Quinton, and Marrera in the back, and Schulte at goal. And I think the idea was uh, getting Farsi a little rest to prepare for mm-hmm. the Cincy game. Um, yeah, well, it looked like he got subbed on at halftime, so I, I feel like that was that yeah. was planned. Yeah, interesting seeing Matan play right wing back. That's a first. Yeah. yeah, I I don't I did not think that. I mean, I thought he played okay. I saw a bunch of people talking online about like he did really well, and I'm like, yeah, I'll I'll still stand by. He's not a wing back, and I don't even view him much as a winger. Like where he plays now in the system is by far his best position, and that's where he like thrives. Like I'd, I I I didn't think he. I mean, he was good, but it wasn't. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think Morris was covering for him a lot. If not Nagby, uh, I felt like he was up the field just as much as normal. Yeah, actually, what's interesting in the middle though, I thought Nag- Nagby was pushing up a little bit more than uh, than Morris. And as of late, that's happened more. When Morris is playing more deep, and Nagby is going a little bit further up the field. Yeah, that seems to be a trend. But, and I don't know if I love that either. Yep. But nope. Yeah. We'll get to that. Well, so what was the atmosphere like uh, at the stadium? Or you know, it, it Wednesday game. And I would sold say out, didn't it? It was it technically, was, technically, uh, yeah, technically sell out pretty much. But it was, it, you know, it was a, some spots here and there. You can see it on the TV too that there's there's some open areas. But the crowd was into it, especially first half. That's that's the first half. The the especially second half of the first half when you get the goals <laughs> and they get to break. Everybody was like hype. It was a very, very good first half. Yeah. After that, they, the crowd's reaction. What about the different. third half yeah. of the first half? <laughs> <laughs> what about the first quarter <laughs> really, of the really good. <laughs> second minute of stoppage time? <laughs> uh, hey. well, so, you know what well, I mean? Yeah. So it, that, that, Makes sense, but right? don't they it's normally like, do like you know, a people might white out the galaxy yeah. or black out the galaxy? That's like I felt like that it's was like a Beckham thing. The galaxy is yeah, just yeah. not as we're past that. Well, they're like not. Yeah, why would I even ask that? Pulling, <laughs> it was black out the galaxy. Okay. What am I? <laughs> All right, seventy when years when old. Beckham never Where's showed up. My red card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Oz was yelling at him <laughs> yeah. in the stands. <laughs> I think I still have that T-shirt. They gave out T-shirts. Black yeah. out the galaxy. Oh seven, I think. Um. Okay, so uh, let's let's get into the goals. I mean, do you want to talk about gameplay or anything like that? I mean, I thought we were pretty dominant. Um, did anyone stand out to you if we want to if you want to do that before we talk about the goals? It was nice to see uh, Amundsen get in there and get a start and you know score a goal. I mean, that's just his immediate return on investment from your Garber bucks that yeah. we spent. So, I mean. That was awesome. I mean, I didn't think I still miss Will. I, you know, he he 
Amundsen doesn't have the pace. He doesn't have the quickness. But, hey, man, when it comes down to it, and especially in the Cincy game, it's like he kind of is ruthless in that final third. Yeah, but he's shaky on the ball. He, you can see his, his, he needs some more more game time to get his confidence off. up. He's not pushing up the same way Sands did. And, uh, yeah, he has some questionable decisions too. I thought it was shaky in this game. I thought he was. I see, like, oh, if we go on foot mob or something, he gets rated really high. I, I didn't think it was, except for the goal. It wasn't a very strong performance. It was nice to have Zellerai on back. Maybe I'm a hater. After he missed a game with yes, knee pain. definitely. But overall, the first half, everybody was good. I mean, it was one of those things, like, I thought it was was pretty, pretty well, high this quality is... from... This is kind of what you were talking about, right, Ben? I mean, not exactly what you were talking about, but having Hernandez and Ramirez both in at the same time. That's what I was going to bring up. Like that, when I yeah, saw it, for, I was ahead. like, yes, this is what I wanted. Like, I would, would love to see Ramirez as a proper nine, like stretching that back line, really like coming off the shoulder of the back defense and having Cucho and uh, Zelly just like run all underneath of him and create space. But it was not what I thought it was. I actually thought it was. I I realized I was missing Matan up there with those with those three. Like there is a reason why those three play, and um, it it seems like it would be better if Ramirez is kind of a you know this isn't working up there. Let's try something different with Ramirez instead of like starting him and having a guy that does that. I I don't I still think maybe Cucho was still trying to be the number nine, but ultimately. I kind of ate my own words because I texted you guys. I'm like, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. And then even though we won, um, I mean, the Galaxy is terrible. <laughs> like That team is so bad. They looked but better in the I, second half. I mean, when they brought on some of their starters. I, 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 if we want to get into second half, we want to skip through the goals in the first half. I have my own thoughts on second half. Let's let's talk through the if goals, we, then we'll, we'll pop yeah. over that. So there was, when was the first goal? 25 or so? Minute. Yeah. Uh, Zellerion so tight. passes down the left side to Cucho at midfield. Cucho does a great job to hold up the ball between like two and two to four defenders at any given second there. Um, and he plays Zellerion back in behind. Uh, it's kind of like a delayed give and go as Ramirez is dragging the back line to keep perfect to keep Zellerion on side. Um, he dribbles into the box, fakes to his left, cuts to the right between two defenders and slots it in far side of the goal. Yeah. He really challenges Neil saying, Hey, come try this, take this from me. And he just cuts it in. Which is such a bummer because I love Neil. I actually think he's, he's a really good player. What kind of comment is that? How how is (laughs) that? He's a U.S. men's national team player. I think he looked great. I couldn't care less. If it's not good enough. Oh man, keep it on the Yanks. Yanks. Made him look look insane. This is, he got completely turned. I was like, whoop. And the goalie, yes. the goalie looks like I don't know if he got a hand on it or what, the angle that they show. It wasn't the best of finishes, uh, but I mean, yeah, there was, I think there was enough power and speed. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't have yeah, to be. It, just it was on target. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, Cucho's so hold-up play one. in that through ball was just like, oh yeah, you're awesome. Like I keep, I keep saying yeah. that every game. I'm like, oh, that's right. Cucho's just of, different. Speaking of Cucho's little chip, like yeah. two minutes before, I was that, a big that fan was of that. Embarrassing. Oh man, if that if that would have went <laughs> in. Oh man, I would have taken my shirt off in front of my he brother. He was way too close. Just, yeah, like, but it did. He should. He should. Score yeah, like but him. man, and I mean did. that that would have completely <laughs> deflated them. That's like, yeah, he should. He should have just slotted it past him. But I don't know. He was also potentially yeah, yeah. offside, to be honest. But the TV and I'm angles, pretty sure he was. Oh yeah. yeah. I think that was kind of like yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think he knew it. That's why. So now you're changing your whole story. <laughs> said it was like, <laughs> well, well, I'm pretty sure uh, when he caught it, the um, sideline ref did like a play on because they looked over and he, the guy was just like, "It's fine, you caught it. Yeah. Play on." You making stuff up? It you just, have not noticed. Just, yeah, it just wasn't. I'm gonna look it up. You guys keep talking. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, see, you don't have to look it up because he didn't know. It wasn't. It wasn't. That's got real point. tiny just brain. <laughs> It just wasn't a goal. And speaking of wasn't a goal, um, the the Ramirez header was was a pretty good looker too. That just went wide of the goal. Uh, that was a tough one to get in. Yeah, the angle yeah, was yeah. impossible. But it was yeah. a, it was good good run up from Zellerian and good good service. Uh, but that was that was fun to rewatch. Yeah. I, I rewatched that one today. Right, but we did get a goal. Yeah. What, what was the goal. second goal? Forty forty third something. 
Yeah. Nagby plays the ball out to the right to Matan. He beats his defender, moving towards the end line, and crosses the ball to the far post. It kind of skids off a defender's head. Um, but, or no, I'm mixing things up here. Sorry. The, the far post where Amundsen s- slips between some defenders, kind of maybe goes off his shoulder, maybe goes off the defender. Yeah. He gets credit for it, though. His shoulder, I think, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking handball it. initially, yeah, but that was all good. No, kudos to Almondson. He's he's aggressive. He came into the box there. He worked for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, after that, I think we decide to uh, go into what we started calling street smart, <laughs> the new word that Nancy <laughs> right. has uh, learned over the last week. Oh, right, right. So, so yeah, more. You said you had thoughts on the second half. It's the most boring half of soccer I have watched live watched live in my life. <laughs> yeah, it was no. brutal. It was dreadful and awful. We passed the I ball, we live. stood on the ball and just what it was it was but, dreadful. Mm. And it was an overcompensation of the week before mm-hmm. where we kept going and we got we got slapped and now we're gonna play like over conservative. I get it, but it was the energy of the building just like the air of the building. I prefer that but to I giving that, a tie, like yeah. dropping two goals. No, I, I, I'm like, I'm not complaining. But fact is, that was the most boring half of soccer I have, and it was the level dropped so much. It was ridiculous. Yeah. We came from this high with like a really good first half, get the goal at half, and then suddenly it's like, oh, we're just gonna stand on the ball now. We parked the bus, and we're not and very good at watching it, Aiden Moore shut down Ricky Puig was pretty fun. He was so pissed yeah, and yelling yeah. at his teammates the whole game. Oh, yeah. It was fun. You got a yellow card for dissent. You got yeah. a yellow card for, yeah. for, for talk. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we were leading at the half. If they shut things down, it's Wednesday. It's getting late. You know, not not surprising. Okay. All right. Well, let's – let's. Uh, anyone else want to chip chip anything in on <laughs> – anyone else want to try a yeah. – Anybody want to just chip Hernandez it right on the goal? This, yeah. <laughs> Uh, ship it right in. <laughs> Before we take a break on this one, or we want to just uh, jump over to the the uh, hell is real. I I think to kind of put a pin in, it, I think it's it's we need to acknowledge that this was a very important win because we haven't won in like what four or five right. games, or like right. even four or five yeah. games in at home. So it's it's like yeah, the second half was a bummer. They took the steam out of it, but hey, we shut them out. We shut them out at home. We got three points, and it was just like. Oh yeah, let's just do this. Like that's that's just. I felt like yeah. I, you know, when the game was over, I was like, yeah. that second half like put me to bed. But they got the job done. No one got hurt. It was just very important to get that three points. And that's exactly what oh, I no, expected I, them to do. Yeah. Um, I wish first win since guys. April. 8th. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, a long time. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's take a break, and when we come back, we'll uh, jump into Cincy. This episode of the Upper 90 Club is brought to you, as always, by Supporter Supply Company. Hi, friends. This is your good pal, Morgan Hughes, here to talk to you about a serious issue facing 96% of all crew supporters in Columbus. Why, not enough free shipping, of course. For a limited time, now through the eventual heat death of the universe, Upper 90 Club listeners can use the promo code UPPER90BOYS. That's boys with a Z on the end at checkout for free delivery on absolutely any order over $10. But Morgan, what if I order $10 worth of stickers or those goddamned buttons or some other combination of small items that make you want to kill yourself? Will the free shipping still apply then, even as you curse our family while you package up our little tiny annoying ass order for us? (laughs) Of course it will. That's just how much we here at Supporter Supply value our friends at the Upper 90 Club. So head on over to supportersupply.co and use the promo code UPPER90BOYS, that's boys with a Z, at checkout for free shipping on all your orders over $10. And don't forget to tell them that your friends at the Upper 90 Club sent ya. We're back. And uh, so let's get into the Wyandotte Lake versus <laughs> the beach. <laughs> the Newport is, Aquarium. Is Wyandotte Lake, oh, the Wyandotte Lake is a... It's a water park exclusively, right? No. It's not like... I guess I would, there's just like the one, I mean, the Sea rides. Dragon. They have the rides. Sea they have Dragon. The Scrambler. Is it still called the Sea Dragon? <laughs> yeah, the Sea Dragon is still there at Zumbezi Bay. No, this, the Scrambler it was called uh, the Barracuda. 
And they had the Remember no, the that? Barracuda was the Ferris wheel that was the in the flipping cages. Ferris the wheel. Scrambler's yeah. just yeah. the one, the normal one you see it like every. Yeah, the slidey like. slides. You're like, I think that's called Maverick, isn't it? Called Maverick? No. That's Kings Island. No, no. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of something else. All right, doesn't matter. <laughs> Cincinnati are we, are doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> that's soak city soak city's king all right I like the term soak there's city. a great video of uh <laughs> three of us on the sea dragon um oh right before my wedding yeah I'm um that. i forgot that was cut fun. that out so no. okay um no. so let's talk about the cincy game mm. i don't want to yeah i kind of do yeah i there's, mean there's yeah, so we, much to talk about there's, like so yeah there's so much it's, yeah yeah it's like it's like watching a, a sad drama you know it's like it's not always it's not always gonna make you feel good when you're done, but sometimes you gotta have the feels. Yeah, you know, saving Private Ryan. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. On an this was the saving. The this whale. was the saving Private. <laughs> was it? Is that what you guys are going with? Here? Or, uh, it was the it was the Green Mile of the soccer. <laughs> green Mile. Yes, that's exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, this was like the action movie where the supposed hero dies in the beginning. Scream. And then somebody else steps up to and the still plate. Fails. Uh-huh. And then and then still mm. fails at the end. No, this is more like yeah, this is like Fast and the Furious of <laughs> something. I don't know. The car breaks down. I don't know. Yeah. Uh okay. Let's just talk so, about movies. But in real life. <laughs> okay. In real life. <laughs> in, real life. The pot. <laughs> in real life. Um yeah. Tanger outlets. Uh, what else is down there? <laughs> <laughs> King's Island. It's an RV Sorry, park just, right after I just, Hell's Real. I'm like, I got my heels dug in. I just can't get there. I just like anything to talk about before kickoff. There's a paper lake right yeah. at Jeffrey. Like, Let's you know, the, uh, talk about the They renovated that bridge over the big ravine. Oh, you know, that was a few years I back. I said the Newport Aquarium. Yeah, yeah. Okay, lineups, Haas. Go ahead. You know what? I don't. Th- I mean, this is like this is crew, crew classic, right? I mean, this is kind of like year. the prototypical. Yeah. Other lineup. than Amundsen getting his second start at left wing back, right? Because right based on attrition. But s- would Sands be a part of that, or would yeah. it have been? Well, they've been playing. Uh, yeah. Oh God, I'm blanking on his name right now. Who have they been playing at left wing back? That's not a wing back or a defender. Yeah, uh, Yaboa. Uh, Yaboa. Yeah. Yaboa. So yeah, yeah. Uh, Matan Yaw. gets put back okay. up front. Farsi's back at right wing back. Amundsen at left wing back. Otherwise, it's the same crew. Great pun. Uh, yeah, capital C. So uh, let's talk about the first half. Uh, right. It's tough. It's a tough one. <sighs> what what went wrong? I don't know if we. Well, I don't think we were. We weren't ready to go. Yeah. Was it that or we was were... it because I felt like it was partially that and I want you guys to talk about it. Um, was it we weren't quote unquote ready or do you think our tactics were just a little off? We couldn't no. We couldn't play possession ball. We couldn't keep the ball. Yeah. yeah. But it, but they had that was a, they were they were taking the ball away. They were not allowing the possession at any point in the field. You watch them like uh, we were doing the same things we always do. We just weren't holding the ball. It was just like giving them the ball. That was my take was like, oh, this looks like a game we usually play, but we're just not keeping it. Like they were just putting a bunch of pressure on us at every pass. And which made it seem like we weren't up for it. But I just wonder, does because I haven't watched a ton of Cincy. Do they do a high press? Because I know they run it like a basically a three four three or a three four one two, which is like us, which is also why they're doing so well. Because they also have like super solid personnel and an awesome backline. But my question is like, we press a little bit, but they seem like I felt like their press was so good for like the first half, yeah. and and like it just shook us up. Yeah, and that's the problem, right? It, it, because some of that was forced mistake. And you can say that was the pressure, but it was also mistakes that shouldn't be in passes that should be completed. There was pressure, but the passes shouldn't go over the line or go to uh, the opposition or whatnot. And so it's it's a combination there. They, yeah, they put pressure on us, and we have struggled with that. And so oh, that's actually games. true. Yeah, I, I thought about that. the first 15 yeah, minutes, so I both teams people, were turning the ball over. Like no yeah. one could, was, both teams were amped up. Trying to play their game. Yeah. Which is very similar. Yeah, I felt like it was the Spider-Man meme where we're just like pointing at each other. 
like you, but also you. Except for the the fact that they were actually competent in the back. I mean, that was the biggest difference. Is is that yeah, we weren't building out of the back nearly as much, but they were breaking us down a lot easier. And and we had a couple of players in the back that were um, allowing them to play through us easily. Yeah, and we yeah we spent no no time in the final third. Yeah, I don't even know if their back line was competent because we couldn't even get there. Was, so we got we got outplayed in the first half. I, I mean, that was that, and actually, total. it's crazy crazy to see. Yeah, ultimately, I guess. I mean, if you look at the stats, uh, which I'm told you have because you put them in front of me here. Uh, we won possession overall pretty handily. Well, we all uh, but yeah, I mean, against yeah, Galaxy, but I mean, we only on got it just, by two yeah. percent. It's fifty two forty eight. Yeah, but with the highest with the highest possession percentage. Yeah, Porter had about the same about the same yeah. total shots. Mm-hmm. Um, about the same shots on target. I mean, just like. In total, our accurate the, passes. This was the dumb. tale of two halves, was it not? I mean, like the difference was, and we will talk about it. Just a, a comical <laughs> tragedy. In yeah, the, in the in the goal box. Uh, are you talking we'll about the that, PK but, they called, or later in the game? Let, let, yeah, let's just get straight into the. Uh, the yeah, first it was a comical goal. tragedy as well. First goal. Yeah, it was, that was a joke. Holy cow! Go ahead. What was the go through the first goal? Okay. Uh, 17th minute, Acosta scores. There's a throw in from the right side. They have a couple quick passes. Uh, Baji makes a diagonal run into the box uh, with the ball towards the end line. Acosta's making like a similarly diagonal run, just slightly delayed uh, towards the penalty spot. Amundsen is caught jogging, not attracting Acosta like he should be. And he's ball watching. Uh, Baji plays the ball on the ground across the six yard box, and Acosta slots it in. Uh, that's three guilty parties in that. Yeah, I, yeah. okay. I'm glad you said that because I was waiting for everybody to hop down other people's throats, but I actually thought Amundsen was the one that was like obviously caught, just like watching and jogging back. He was caught yeah. ball watching. The other two is just doing horrible defending. <laughs> uh, so here's how the many thing. D- who yeah, fell down? The- Did anybody <laughs> fall no, down? Surprisingly, no, no, no one no. fell down. No, so, 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 so yeah, nobody <laughs> fell down. All right, podcast over. But here's See the guys. thing: you have IST at first. Vasia is the initial defender he, there, right? It was so bad. He, Quinton is Quinton is the backup. You should never be beat around coming around the corner when you're the backup defender. Right. It's okay that he beats the first guy, but when you're the backup defender, you better be first day. You should never be beat on the outside. So Vasia had stopped by defending first, and then Quinton comes in, and he should be. St- he should be shutting that down as the backup defender. And now we have our two two our defenders totally out of position. Two out of three, not even Amundsen goal side. Back. Yeah. And Amundsen, Amundsen should probably be thinking, yeah, they got two people in one. They should probably be able to stop him, to, to be fair. He should have he should have ran back and got it. But Well, and I, I'm going to piggyback on, on that exact awful. same thought is as the second defender coming over for coverage, you sell out at that moment. You, yeah. you, you lay your, you get down and block that ball coming across under every circumstance. Yeah, you he, should have the angle. There's no yeah, excuse. You should have, have the, the angle. angle. And he had the angle. He just didn't commit to it. Yeah. He thought he could reach it. He thought he could he could get to it. And he couldn't. You know, that's gonna be something else that I bring up later. But that that to me was there was a couple of things, but you have to deny that cross. You yeah. have to. I'll stand so, by if we're it, it was not solely one person. It was not no, solely, multiple bad like, players. Biasia yeah, and yeah. Amundsen are, are the majority of the blame there. I mean, that was Biasia also was like super poor. I mean, well, this is, we can yeah. go back to the blame yeah, yeah. game. This the blame game is much bigger than the players on the field. That's another story. But you have a sixty thousand dollar earner, you know, defending a two point five million dollar player. Yeah. You know, like it's it's not a fair game. You should have a player that should be in development starting for us. But we will get back to that. But yeah. Yeah. That was that they made it look easy. Um and they even even the announcers on the on the game were talking about how we got Yeah, hurt. but they deserved it and I'm okay with that. Like at that point well, I was just I, like Yeah, it's it's part yeah, of the okay. it's part of the broader issue that we were Correct. talking about, which is just that our 
what we came out playing wasn't wasn't selling right so you know and it was on one side of the field it was on the other side of the field i mean i think when we were talking about it earlier it was through the lens of our productivity but it also translates to our ability to stop their productivity yeah and when you play in a three three back system like this or three three central defenders like that you put a lot on those yeah, three yeah. so you have to make sure that you have the quality and the the confidence in those players to execute. And, but yeah. to that point and, and I know we want to move on but I think it's yeah. if we're get the way I saw the game is that they were like pressuring and winning the ball back and yada yada yada. At that point, if you have three in the back, you have the option to switch to almost like a five in the back. Like you just drop your wing backs and let them squish. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, well, you know, we Nazi didn't do that, and which is fine, especially for the first goal. But that's just it. Th- that gives you the flexibility running a three four three where you could run like five, you know, five four one or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, so it gives you the option to have more in the compress. Back. Yeah, and we yeah. we we just don't do that. Like that that that's the that's the wrinkle flexibility that you have with that lineup, and we just don't do that. So we leave our dudes on an island back there a lot, which was fine when we had you know Morris and whatever dropping back and saving us, or Farsi dropping back and saving us. But they haven't been doing that, and I think yeah, we'll get in, we'll get into kind of. Degenix not being there may be a way bigger thing than I originally mm-hmm. thought. Okay, so then Haas, you were talking about the totally legitimate PK that was given a few minutes later <laughs> in the twenty third. Not a PK. So the what foul PK? actually PK. happened in the twentieth minute. Uh, Farcia Marrero lose the ball on the right side of our attack. The ball's played around Morris to Baji. It but it first goes off of Quinton. It deflects off of him, yes. which allows Baji to pounce on it right outside the box. It, it okay. doesn't deflect. Wait, off hold on. He deflects off of him. It. Yes, he that's, kicks it. that's being really generous. Yeah, he deflects off of. He his goes to foot clear it forward and it goes back. He was trying to clear it. He was no, trying I don't, to. I don't. Clear no, I think he was stumbling and he couldn't get his fit set and he just missed. I don't. He it. wasn't trying to kick it the way he that's kicked for it. Sure. No. So, however you sure. want to categorize that, yeah, he, it didn't seem like he swung his leg. It seemed <laughs> so like he cre- just it was it was. So he creates a through yeah. ball. He yeah. Creates a through ball. But they were both he, getting arms on each other. Like, I just there wasn't that much contact. Like I, two I, freshmen I, in high school. No, yeah. no, no. I yeah. My problem with this was this is a rivalry game, a physical game. The ball goes out. He shouldn't call it. I think it's no. such a close call. Because it's one of those where he calls it, and you look at it, and it's like, yeah, this shouldn't have been a PK, but there's no way they're going to. There were, back. because there is there is enough contact that you can justify. It's not a clear and obvious error, but at the same time, if it wasn't called, it's and, and in a game like this, which is a big rivalry game, you don't want it to be like a. He wasn't calling that call contact like that. all game except for there. Oh. There were. Two or three times where crew players yeah. could have gone down in the box. We can talk about fouls. that. Or they did go down in the box. And that they could have been call. called PKs, the same that that was. Similar contact. Yeah. Go ahead, Trey. Let me hear you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We, we have the... Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is, hold on. Let him, let him turn, okay, let him, okay, hold on. Okay, let him turn the volume up. All right. Go ahead. All right. All right. Nope. Hold on. Just two seconds. Two minutes. <laughs> two hours. <laughs> <laughs> two hours. <laughs> It was a PK. If you're a Cincinnati fan, yeah. If you're yeah. betting on Cincy, unfortunately, he goes to clear the ball or make make a play on the ball. The ball goes the wrong way. He's chasing sure. the defender back. He puts himself in a poor position. Yes, he doesn't recover to the near post so he can stop whatever's happening. He recovers, grabs him on the shoulder. the mm. The offensive player feels the contact and turns. That's what it, it is. is. He is from behind. Grabs his left shoulder, and the guy goes down. Based on what? It is a poor. Def- what do you mean? Based on what? He I, felt everybody the that's touched me on the shoulder today. I didn't fall down. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's fine. You weren't smart enough as yeah. an as a MLS player. You feel the contact there was in no, the box. Right. You go down. I agree. We talked earlier. He did have his hands as on a him. Defender. He did not. There was no foot contact. There was no foot tangled up. There was no nothing. Let me clap. Let me clap here. Let me clap here. As a defender, you cannot do that. I, 
You cannot do that. It's going to get called. I, we talked about this being a drama. I yeah. and <laughs> you know this is like the, what Trey's not. Trey's just saying that the man did what he was trained to do. He saw the Mighty Ducks. You know, you yeah. fall down, you grab yeah. your eye like it's cut. <laughs> yeah, right. Sure, but that doesn't make it a foul. <laughs> I, the no, defender no. has to do better. Uh, you defend- can't you do that. He was yeah. out of position and he did something he I, shouldn't do. I, yeah. I, I, I'm I'm with you because he created an opportunity for the offense to get in the position of getting yeah. the PK. He sure. put himself in but that still position. Still doesn't mean it's and a it foul. should like, never have happened. Not- it should never have I- happened. But you can but you can you can talk 50-50, but the problem is it should never been a 50-50. Sure. It should Bingo. be a yeah. In so many ways. He could he could actually we, after we he makes the error, error, he can still recover in a better way and be in a better position to defend oh, he, than he did. And that's that's exactly one thousand percent it. You can fifty fifty whatever you want to call that a PK or not, till you're pink in the face or whatever. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It was called and they're not calling it back. Yeah, you have what him on the could have been prevented and can. Did, but did yeah. they check what it for 20 minutes? And they didn't talk about it for quite a bit. They don't need to. Yeah, they talked about it for yeah, a Yeah, I bit guarantee bit. the they VAR know, was like, that. who has money on this game? And it's like, Tommy, you got money on the game? He's like, I got money on the game. He's like, <laughs> who do you got? He's like, since he got to be since He's like, no, no. That's no, fine. No, Go back no. and rewatch it I watched it. Maybe it was a 30 I'm not kidding. I watched it a ton. It's never like... It's not even a foul outside we're, the house. Hey, we're not li- debating. What's the lines person the same play on or something? We're not <laughs> debating not. whether <laughs> we're not debating whether it was joke. a penalty. It happened. Yep. Uh, okay, so then it was almost a big downer in the twenty eighth minute. They scored. <laughs> well, they all they scored. They scored. They scored yeah, the PK. It was a nice goal. Uh, yeah. It was another Acosta goal. Um, and then, yeah, Haas, you're going to talk about the goal that got called back. I was just going to touch. I mean, 28th minute. Yeah. 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 That would have been a death blow. Yeah, it, oh, watching 100%. it in that big crowd of people at Land Grant, it was just like, oh my God, like everyone defeated. Yeah, this is going to get ugly. But it was called back pretty. I mean, he, and was, he was off. How, yeah. He, he was, was pretty, off. pretty far. It did not yeah. look off was, on the, on TV, like they right flipped away. back to it for, to the right. Oh, 100%. Actually. Yeah. He was. He was oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, originally, yeah. I was like, it, it, yeah, I do. It was like, yeah, it's great take by Vasquez. Vasquez. Did we? Mm-hmm. And did we? Uh, yeah, yeah. Good. I can't really re- recall when things turned because they did. Just about. Yeah, that. it was. Just yeah, it was kind of. We we started to to turn things around. So, uh, what we? I mean, were there were there plays of note leading up to our our first one? It wasn't really. We can feel feel that we like get a little bit more like okay, we need to. Yeah, do it's something. like a like a cold water on the face kind of deal with that third goal that yeah. got called back. Like okay, we're either gonna just it's this game could be seven to zero, or that's what yeah. I we're getting at. <laughs> right. um, yeah, it seemed like there was no control. <laughs> yeah, like it just it yeah. it just it seemed like we were gonna get mowed over. And maybe that's what they were thinking too. Maybe that's what yeah. they were thinking too. Hey, we yeah. got this. Like we even had a third goal. We're, we're well. I think they yeah, came well. out super hot, and they did. And they were pressing, and they were running, and they were outworking us, and doing all this stuff. And they during that entire time didn't have anything to deflate them, like what was hitting us constantly. So that was the first time that they kind of had to stop. And they stop play and they're like, nope, not a goal. And it just deflated them just enough where we got our footing and we could go out and play our ball. This is what I felt like. And let's let's be honest, everything went their way in the start. Like it like it felt like everything was going, every 50-50 ball, everything yeah. was seemed to be just going yeah. their way. And Calls. they probably deserved it. I mean, they were out hustling us. Sorry. They were, they were I mean, for they, sure. they they absolutely yeah. were. Costa was oh, yeah. everywhere. Like picking yeah. Aiden yeah. Morris's pocket, which how often does that happen? Like twice before this? This is the interesting thing though. They were like right before we're gonna to get to our goal here, they were talking about how Acosta was back and blocking and actually creating a throw in. They're talking about Acosta again all the way on the all the way on their left back, recovering and, and blocking and, and putting the work. And as they talk about that in the replay, they actually we t- did the throw in and uh we got our goal. Mm-hmm. So that's the fortieth minute. We throw it in from the right side yep. to Matan. He drops it to Cucho. Cucho draws two center backs over, crosses it. It As actually does. deflects off one of their shins, I believe. Um, 
Mm-hmm. To Z- and Zellerion splits two defenders and knocks it by the keeper. Yeah, it's a it's a great finish. But that's it's all old Cucho. That goal is all Cucho. It's like the ga- first Galaxy um, goal, too. And of course, it's Zellerion to crash the crash the box, of course. But the like Cucho is just it, it's come from like nothing. Mm-hmm. He he challenges like three guys, I think, and then yeah. he, he gets the ball. Yeah, he's yeah, he's just different. And, and uh, yeah, so so that was that was coming all, but. It wasn't really out of like great play, right? It was a great no. individual uh, yeah. Achie- achievement. Yeah, we say. didn't break down. No, like, it was a enough to lay enough to lay the foundation for for the more, right? Minutes, and yeah. so then we get to half. Um, yeah, yeah, and we get to half. Like at the rest of the half, we own yes. the yes. field. We absolutely own everything that happened. Was there four minutes of stoppage time in the first half? Four or five minutes? And basically from the time we scored that yeah. goal to the end of the half, we were dominating. Yeah. Cucho almost scores two minutes after Zellerion scores there. He gets like a header out of nowhere that their keeper makes a great save. Yeah, he flicks on. That's a good save. Yeah. Yeah, I do want to say before all that, like, I think it was after the second goal or something like that, there was a Cucho like got hit off the ball or something like that. So there was a stoppage in play and yeah. the sideline, our sideline was the most animated I have <laughs> oh, ever yeah. seen. And I, I was, um, he was bringing his, did you board, see him? Yeah. Him, him and, and, it, and the oh, thing yeah. is it was all Marrera. Like he was just like so frustrated and they were yeah. just like going at it and they were going. Yeah. At yeah. Yeah. Probably. And it was just like, yeah. it was just like, yeah. And because it was like they were they were Easy. grabbing the Easy. little like that's a warning. <laughs> <laughs> Seems fine to say. There's, there's no shame in bilinguality. Is that a word? Yeah. But they yeah. were. I mean, it was that's, animated. I mean, everybody was so animated during that time, and people were like just like yelling. And I couldn't tell so if they were, they were like all frustrated smoking, at each other or yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah Sandler's friend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I I know everybody saw it. You know, everybody saw it. I just wonder what was said because after that, I just thought everybody was like mad at each other. And I'm like, don't be mad. It just felt like everything was in chaos. But after that, it seemed to calm down. But I just I just wanted what what did you guys think was said? Like what was happening? Like was Nazi upset or was Pereira upset or? He said, uh, "Enough with the st- street smarts. <laughs> Let's go over to the uh, street yeah. fight." <laughs> and well, fight. No, I I didn't think it. I didn't <laughs> think he seemed upset. I think that they were trying to cultivate the momentum. I felt like uh, there was an urgency there, and he's like, "This is the way we need to." Say. I couldn't really see like what was on the board, but you know that i think he was just trying to get these guys in line to capitalize on the momentum for the last few minutes of the half cuz you know that when you go to the half things are going to be different when you come out the other side right it could be better it could be worse but as long as you see this big wave come and we had the goal you know we, we had the the momentum i that was the vibe i got was that they that he was just trying to push these guys to keep the pressure high and and do do what was in the game plan that whatever he said, it was the right thing. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I'm here for business. Discord Echo, it's Discord Echo, it's Discord Echo, it's Discord Echo. Discord.gg slash crew96. That's Discord.gg slash crew96. Join today. Okay. So uh, after the half, how, how did we come out? I mean, I see we, we scored. And you know, handful of minutes after half, but yeah, because we continue, we continue yeah. to just own the field. Yep, it was like a totally different game. Well, so, um, and I didn't notice this till watching it back, but we'll get to it where Acosta ruins the game for us. He almost does it three times goals. prior to that. He is just coming down on Schulte and like putting pressure on him. 46th minute it's like literally right as the half starts he almost i th- i thought i was watching like something was wrong with the clock when i was re-watching it i was like wait a minute it doesn't happen this early like he gets so close to stealing it immediately yes one he turns it in and he turns into his own goal and passes the other way wasn't it 
like where we he's pressured so bad that Schulte is like in front of his goal on one post, turns around and goes across kind of your own line, which you should never yeah, do. Yeah, like isn't goal. that like Steve Clark, MLS Cup 2015? Yeah, uh, everybody was talking about that. Uh, oh, okay. All right. I... I I'm not uh, I'm not on the I'll socials. Check. Um, so, uh, I'm just, <laughs> yeah, I, I I was like ten feet from that. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So, but that's not what happened. Correct. Right? So we generally we came out strong, and Amundsen had his second goal in as many games, uh, in the fifty second. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Marrera plays it to Cucho in the middle, who flicks it with his first touch out wide to Nagby, who's in behind the defense. He takes it just about to the end line, drops the ball back to Farsi just outside the box. Farsi is, uh, or I'm sorry, Farsi crosses it to the back post to Cucho. This is the one I mentioned earlier oh, where yeah. it does skim off of a defender's head to kind of get it to Cucho. Um, he shoots it quickly off the chest of Celitano. The ball drops just outside the six yard box where Amundsen sneaks between two defenders he and just shoots appears. it with his left foot. Yeah. Like he did what Aiden Morris did keeper. that one time where just like, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. He come, he kind of is like a like a superhero. Like just appear like he just to just split those defenders uh, and put it through. Yeah, it was kind of when he shot that when Kucho had the shot. By the way, he just drops it to his foot and like chest foot so Dude, fast. Again, Kucho is just different. Like that yeah. dude is just he, he he got it to from from like the first touch of shooting in like so fast, and and after that you're like oh, you know yeah. it's not gonna it's not gonna happen. It's like where the hell did he come from? And then yeah and yeah he gets it in there. I mean, is he out of position there where he scores from? Technically, left wing yeah. back. Who knows? <laughs> he's ex, he, he's, done he's that exploring. Twice where like, no, he's, what's he doing there? Like, All right, well. He's exploring new areas of the field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't hate it. I I was hoping that we would talk explorer. <laughs> like I was I said it out loud when I was watching alone. I was like, oh, <laughs> it's exploring the goal again. Or so you know, something like that. <laughs> I, I would say after that, I felt I felt I, I felt like we were coming on. I really thought at that point oh, yeah. that we were gonna win this game. Oh yeah. I mean that stadium had it was just like, oh, it's like, yeah, <laughs> you had a good forty minutes, but think- yeah, and you know what? They didn't keep they didn't keep the shot of the crew people there, like the group, yeah, the crew player, the, the, the fans on the. They showed like well, forty must people. Be other, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it must be on the other end. But I'll tell there you, a lot when of the goals them. happened, there was a lot of yellow lot popping up on the, on the yeah. stand. Everywhere. Where's Waldo? They were boosting yeah. the crowd noise for Cincinnati. Yeah, no and, well, did, yeah. There was a no tweet doubt. later. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. It was the tickle stadium or whatever. I was like, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So we're dominating. We passed the ball back. Well, so <laughs> yeah. yeah. 46th minute, 54th minute, 57th minute, and 67th minute, he finally gets it from Schulte. Uh Cincinnati makes a couple subs. The crew start up play in the back unbelievably slowly. This is like a few games ago. I remember Mort was talking about how we're just like standing there with our foot on the ball, like not yeah, doing anything. Yeah, yeah. They pass it back to Schulte. He turns. He's headed to the outside of the box as Acosta catches up to him. Um, he wins the ball. I can't remember exactly how the sequence happens, but it ends up getting played back into the box. Three different crew Quentin, players are Quentin, sliding. Quentin missing. passes back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, Moreno scores. Yeah, he just places it in the corner. It's. It's so good weird job, Cincinnati. To watch it. It feels so awkward. It wasn't, you know, the oh, when Schulte, I, Schulte just no, 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 no. Ass, it, 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 yeah, just, but it, here's like, the thing. You know what was well, missing? Yeah. He should have done the Cruyff. Yeah, that he, he does that all the time. <laughs> That's what I kept thinking. I kept thinking. <laughs> yeah, because if he only did the Cruyff, man. I yeah, I couldn't yeah. watch it at the time. No, so when I rewatched no. that part, I was like, okay, he does a Cruyff and he gets the ball taken off of him. And it doesn't, it, that's not it. And he's done that before. He does it all the time. And it's like, it's so weird. Uh, to me, it's just so weird. It looks so awkward where he just is like, I forgot how to dribble for like three seconds. He literally is like is dribbling a, to the corner. Good, and it just like, it's yeah. so weird. It's so okay, weird. So it's from a mentality, le- I mean, he he's young. You can feel Is it good that he air. gets knocked? Is yeah. it good that he got knocked down a notch? Is Or is it bad? Like, do we want him confident? 
Uh, do we want him? Do we want him cognizant? You know, like what? Those are big words. No, yeah, it's, it's not great. Well, it's bad. No, so it's bad. It's bad. Emo- yeah, 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 he yeah, it's not great. He was emotional it's, it, after. Yeah. The you game can make mistakes. And, 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 yeah. yeah, you can. You can make mistakes. That's fine. But you have to realize the 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 the, the heaviness of the situation that you're in. You know, this is probably the biggest rivalry game away. You have to realize when to kick the ball away. Just cut your losses. Yeah, just you're absolutely it. right. And I think, to, yeah. yeah, to that point, that. what Haas was saying is like, "Hey, man, Acosta was doing this at the you know 46th minute, 47th minute, blah blah." So it kept happening. So he just needs yeah. to like read the room and be like, "Okay, cool." Yeah. So they they know that I play at my feet, and they they they're going to pressure me. So like, as a goalkeeper, I'm just going to clear the ball. He's got good like distribution skills but worst case scenario is just like kick it to the corner or something like that yeah but he and everyone's like well the system says whatever and i still think like at some point you go you you know you like we were saying like we read the room like hey man it's two two it's a big game we're tied i'm not gonna screw around like just get rid of the ball because he takes like more than one touch it's not like he like gets it taken off at least three touches i'd have to yeah yeah right and it, it was it was a slow ball back from quentin kind of put him in a uh, I'm not going to say like a hospital ball but that, that whole sequence was terrible it like was so slow weird. slow and we have seen this we yeah. talked about the galaxy game second half it was tendencies to that they just didn't have a guy that would pressure them the same way they were actually galaxy were kind of sitting back and letting us yeah that's the difference like, is that galaxy was just like I don't want to be and here they, either they was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so so but no, that was you can just feel it was almost a balloon. You know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think ultimately what you're asking is: Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay to make a mistake. Yes, it's okay to learn from that mistake. Yes, if we're gonna do this, do it now and not when we're playing them in like even the U.S. Open Cup or like MLS, MLS Cup final Cup or final. like we gotta meet them in the playoffs. Yeah, like like you know <laughs> if you're gonna do it do it now it, you know it's an away game against one of the top teams it's okay to like drop points there but it does it but to trey's point it's like it's not great yes 66 minutes just poop yeah. that's all i said so it's yeah. it's not it's it's not good it's, it's not gonna like he's not gonna like pick up his head and be like I learned something. It's like, man, that's a bummer, especially when people well, are like, "Where's he?" But did I think something. it does. Yeah, I think it does knock you down a notch, right? I mean, hopefully, it's like you know, getting totally owned in front of you know thirty thousand people is like it. It does teach you something. Yeah, uh, but the 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 opposite, you know, the other side of that coin is that all the great things that he does with confidence also you know come down come down a peg. So. Well, and we didn't give up. Um, it wasn't like it ended the no. game. No, because that's no. that. I mean, this no. is what we have appreciated about this guy so much is that he's like, you know, a pretty pretty decent keeper. He's young, uh, inexpensive he's a decent compared shot to yeah. c- compared yeah, no, to. No, he, uh, he shows that he his shows uh, the game, yeah. his counterpart on the on the bench. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, and the save the save that he came up and made in the 89th minute. That's a great ridiculous. save. I mean, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, Mark, to the to the bigger point is that, like, you don't want to learn in these circumstances, but that's exactly what this was, unfortunately. You know, I'd rather he make that mistake when we're or up for nothing, like in the screw up. two cup when he tried yeah. to do the step over and that made it four one. But you everyone know, just laughed like, it off and they were giving each other like secret handshakes that's and stuff. True. I forgot about Yeah, that. he tried to he tried that. to do some like step over thing. And they took it off him and the guy just walked the ball in and it was like. That's fun. Mm-hmm. It doesn't yeah. matter. Like we're crushing him. He 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 bounced yeah. back decently. Yeah, but, which is great because he's young. But for for a while there, they took over, and but we did have a chance. I think uh, I think uh, Zellerayan had a chance. Moreira. Yeah. Like this, mm-hmm. this game yeah. this game had a yeah, had Herrera a, at yeah. the very end. Of course, it had yeah. a three to three feel really yeah. in the last like ten. And you know what? That so. save that save in the end is him just throwing up an arm, and it he just. Dude, goes. good on yeah, him. He literally, it's Dude. like a jumping jack. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Jumping jack, and he just happened to hit his arm. He just played in this, yeah, credit to him, but that was like just the luck of the draw, the fact that Mervera again could have gone in there and tied up a game in the very last minute. Yeah. Now, I mean, now well, that, that was a United's, great... Yep. 
Go Sorry, ahead. great, great flick on from Ramirez there to get yeah. the ball to Marrera. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Switching up stuff. Yeah. Hey, one one other thing here. First sub, eighty seventh. Yeah, minute. I don't yeah. understand it. Mm-hmm. So here's another thing, I, and and this goes back to: is it the fact that it it is a problem if you don't think you can sub in and have improvement in a game before like the 87 minutes, but obviously now it's like a desperate mode. I would say that, you know, obviously Ramirez had uh, some contributions and Medranda did save the ball, the ball the off line. the line. That was so, insane. So I don't know what Russell Rowe did, but but at the same, it was late in the game, so he didn't have much yeah, chance like to do five anything. Minutes. But my thing is, when your bench looks away where you feel like you can't be like, you know what? We need to bring this guy in or we can change something. This is not a good look. We we need depth. And I think it's become more and more obvious throughout the season that we need we need more option. We it, or if, if best you know, worst case get people back from injury. Well, it doesn't seem like he's afraid to change things up because the lineups change so much from game to game. Yeah, but you know? sometimes yeah, but sometimes you, you would have to have a like for like and saying like, hey, you know what? Uh, Farsi has run himself yeah. empty, so we need to put put in another guy that can come in there and do something similar. He, he won't do that because he has nobody that is the well, yeah, equal. And ben always says like our our players are so unique. You know, there aren't a ton of yeah. like like for there likes. aren't a ton of like for like sitting around waiting. No, it would be great if but, we had Sans back and keep Almondson right. next year, and you could right, kind of have totally. like him as the backup for him and come. Oh, has been ball. playing oh, really oh, well, and he hasn't yeah, played in the last two heard, games. Was he even I, on the bench? That, yeah, the, yeah, he had to. Have been he wasn't on the, he wasn't okay. on the bench. Okay, something right, happened. That, that so, explains it because he's been he's been very good. And I think that no, there is no other position where this is most apparent than the center back. So um, yes. let's let's wrap up the the Cincy coverage. Um, yeah, man, great, great, great game. Yeah, uh, people talked mm-hmm. about it. I saw, so we even like we go back and looked a little bit at that. Uh, what is it, three sixty? They talked about, you know, how how good of a game it was and everything. So yeah, okay. A lot. I, hey, I I want to say one thing. Yeah. I, before you jump to break, or we can go back to it, the rivalry night thing. I don't get it. Why would you put so many good matchups in one night? At the same time. when At the same time. <laughs> yeah. Where you have like Kansas City versus St. Louis for the first time. You you need to put these games on separate dates. So there would be like one game people would like actually be drawn to except for the game they want to watch themselves. It's like all the – there was a ton of good matchups. This is this is a failed marketing yeah. experience. Yeah. Or I think so. It's not the first it's time we call it. Sure. They've done it for yeah. a year. So. Well, yeah, but I mean at the same point, this is literally them going – you know what we can do? Everything at once. We'll call it rivalry night. You know, it's like NFL yeah, red zone. But then we don't get to what. <laughs> well, and and yeah, I it, I don't know. I mean, maybe the maybe the thought is that maybe there there's more information on people moving towards streaming that we don't really know and nobody watches anything live and so you just have them all play at once and you watch them whenever you want. The day, the days of yore when you just tune into the game that's on, you know, maybe maybe that's a thing of of the past, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, of course, way, I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, I no, I, sir, I don't. Yeah, like I'd, it. Yeah. I'd I'd prefer <laughs> to I'd prefer to kind of tune in or roll to the next game, right? Like you're watching one, and then it, you go to the next game that that's starting shortly thereafter, but. Um, we could talk about that off season again. Yeah, for sure. yeah. Put it yep. down, dot it down for, sure. for later discussion. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, so uh, what I was saying was, you know, no position uh, are, is our depth an issue uh, more than than at center back. So we got a comment that we wanted to talk through. Um, this came on Twitter from Way Herman. Uh, we all know that center back position is a rocky spot, but is there anything that Nazi can do to mitigate the problem with the formation? Would it be better to switch to a four four two until Degenick or Williams are back? What do you guys think about that? I mean, we we I, we had this posted up here, and I knew that we were going to talk about it, so I've heard you guys mention this issue throughout our discussion tonight. But who wants to start us off, Ben? Me. <laughs> 
I'm yeah, just yeah. kidding. Ben no, does not. <laughs> he raised his hand. Go ahead, Trey. No, I was pointing. I was actually pointing at Trey because I know Trey had something to say. So I was trying to point. But okay, so I'm gonna get on a little bit of a soapbox here about the player that I have mentioned before that is not my favorite Brian at McBride. this moment in time. Um, <laughs> Landon Donovan. So <laughs> <laughs> talking about Quinton. Go ahead. Hey, thanks, Mars. Yeah, uh, Quentin. So, rewatching multiple games, uh, Orlando, Galaxy, Cincinnati. Um, one thing that's become pretty evident is like when you watch him play. I and I couldn't put my finger on it at first. And like Ben and I were arguing last week about how good of a player he was, and 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 where okay, he was Mort, you're always lineup. right. We get it. We get it. <laughs> um. One thing that I noticed going back and watching multiple times is I feel like he is in that twilight zone of he's moved into a higher league and he's still playing like he's in the lower league. He's playing like he can recover that extra step. He's playing like he's six foot six and he can track that player back. That's not as good as him. But here in, in the with MLS players, in the top league, he's giving them too much space. He's allowing them to make runs that are a half step beyond what his arm's length is. He's And if you go back and watch over and over and over again, one of the things that his positioning is the biggest problem. He is allowing runners to get into positions. Uh, Orlando was one of the worst ones. Um, ben, what did you say his name was? Uh, it's not Kaka. It's Kara. Kara. Cara. consistently got himself a foot and a half of space on Quentin. And you could just see it. Quentin thought he had and it, it, and he didn't well, have it. Goal side, so what goal side of him. So like exactly. this person is saying, though, what what can we do? Would a 4-4-2 fix it, you think, or help it? Yes. No, well, no, 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 no. I, that's, I that's don't the thing. necessarily I, think. I don't think a formation fixes it when it's what we see is individual errors it's not a systematic right. errors that we see here in this this yeah. this very example every goal was individual errors so it's not a systematic thing it's it's a depth right. and a player option thing i i do think a 442 could benefit to hide the mistakes but it's not a long term solution um, well, when you let it, when so you're letting you them get back by to... your goal side, you've taken yourself out of the equation. Yeah. So the only the only exactly. way that a formation solves that is that if you're not in the center, and there's somebody else behind you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if you're in the uh, center, no, uh -huh. no, no. So so yeah. So here's the deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah I see. I see. What yeah. You mean. Well, I, I think you can look into it. it no, if, if if you move to a four four two, it gives them an extra person in the center that is also covering for him. All right. I mean, if you play so, with eight people in the back and they're all crappy, <laughs> they wouldn't all be like sticking out as being really yeah, bad. I, I guess th that's, that's the point too. And that, yeah. but, so that's the frustrating yeah. thing that I keep saying is like, hey, having a 3-4-3 three, three is great. And I, it's my favorite way of playing because you have the flexibility of, of pulling the pin and going, all right, dudes, instead of doing a 3-4-3 three, three where our wingbacks are way high, come back. We're going to play a back five. And then also drop either Morris or Nagby because neither one of them are dropping back to a stopper position like they used to. So like, just be like, hey man, stay home. Morris, stay home. Nagby, stay home. And that way, because a lot of the, you've seen a lot of the goals that are like but right in front that, that, of like the penalty spot. That is not going to fix the issue though, because what you have is you have that, that, that the highest offensive player on their team pushing the line and creating space off of the center back off of him. It won't matter if you drop somebody else deeper into that sweeper stopper role or whatever you want to call it, six, eight. And that person checks back because that offensive player is it's beyond them. It's God. too late. The, fir the first goal him. that since he scored is there was nobody tracking him, which is Amundsen. And there was nobody, like I said, in that sweeper stopper position to fill that position. Like, because another way of playing is you divide the field into zones and you say like, all right, this position is your zone. So like they talk about, you know, zone, you know, 13 is like the top of the. So like you divide in certain zones. I, I know Nazi, I don't think probably does that necessarily because there's so much flux in the in the quote unquote total soccer system. But like I want to stop. I want to stop you right here. You're right in the zone. 
podcast over. <laughs> but the problem is, no is when you have that, no, 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 hold on. When you have that, and Mort mentioned it earlier, the person that is covering your zone has one job, and that job wasn't done on that first goal. So, so, so here, here, yeah. the person who covered who covered on the back of Iasia to to deny and to cut down the angle for any kind of slot back didn't do his for job. Sure. It, it, it's it's it, it's a hundred percent like we can talk about depth, but it's it's a lot of just um, growing pains. I would say. No, it's it's not even. I, okay, go ahead. I let you. Uh, it, it, it the it it is the, these seem very specific <laughs> to individual no, errors. You you have a starter in the center of the defense that has a market value of seventy thousand dollars. I think he's the worth only more guy. He's d- d- great I don't guy. care, but that's what it is. But he's a great guy. The only one you have as an alternative on the bench is a guy that's worth twenty thousand dollars. That is a homegrown that have seen the minute of, for ten minutes in a cup game. Yeah. That's your depth at defense right now. That's all you got. Yeah. That's all yeah. you got for those positions. And now you started. You starting a guy that is now a, a a steady starter. Is a guy that has never been a starter in the MLS over the years. He's been there, which is Viasia. He's come from some bad seasons with some bad teams and not started. He came from he's Cincy, been right? Backup. He was in, in Cincy Colorado, alone Colorado, or something. He was Colorado Wolf. and it yeah. was Cincy alone. Never Cincinnati got rid of him when they were bad. Exactly. So <laughs> here's the thing: we got in, and now he's a starter. We have a guy in the center that should put, be bossing around. It's a guy that is is on his second year from being drafted. Yeah, right for sure. And that's one year removed from college that should be learning. You know, learning all these. These are the mm-hmm. three almost. Moreira is the only one that I would say is like a, a starter, yeah. and that's usually yep. not where we have seen most of our problems. Oh no, it hasn't no, no, been no. On that yeah. side, it's been on the other side. Most of our issues. Yeah. So, so I think I mean, going it, back. Yeah. yeah, if we had Josh Williams, if we had Degnick, and you spend some I money, I don't think and get Josh better. plays the ball. He doesn't. He doesn't fit the. Side. No, but he he but knows he how doesn't to. He will make put his, those mistakes. Yeah, he will put his body in front of the guys. Yeah, position he's a, himself. He's, in he's a place. center back. Yeah, Ben. How many? And I hate doing this. You know how much I hate doing this. Doubt it. But if you have a player who is not very good that comes out and plays with us. In, in a co-ed league on a Sunday or a Friday night or whatever, Man. they can be not the best player in the world, but if they're in the right position, you will take that player all day long. And that is what we don't have right now at center back. He is, he is not f- in the right position. No, no. Is he fun? Does he drink after <laughs> you're, the game? You guys are talking about someone <laughs> specifically right now, I feel like. I don't no, think I don't, so. I don't think no, so. No, 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 no. no I promise I'm not. I'm not. joking. I'm just joking. Yeah. Alfie? just me for the first like three years I played. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> actually man no but mark i mean yeah stick mark, around and drinks that, yeah exactly that's what we want to that point though it makes the biggest difference in the world if you can play the position and you're actually in the right position i don't care how and ben we argued about this the other day i don't care how well he can pass he can it pass. doesn't matter if he can't play defense and he, if he's not in the right position it does not matter Yeah, i was wrong and, that was 100 percent wrong thank you but Back to the Twitter question of formation. Man, I don't know what the answer is besides going out and spending money. No, it's exactly what we need to do. Yeah, I mean, when does the That's does anyone know when the transfer do. window opens? Uh, over the the Sometime summer, I think. Summer. Like a I don't know exactly. I, I think, and I've said this before. I think for a lot of these players, this is absolutely a tryout. Like this entire first part of the season, like whether we want to believe it or not, this is like quote unquote well, yeah. rebuilding, but this is like yes. proper yeah. rebuilding. That, I, that's kind of where my mind right. was it's like, as Mort's talking through the inexperience in the back. Now, the the injuries to the more experienced players are not a part of a rebuilding strategy, of course. No. Yeah. However, yeah. however, there I mean, teams have non championship seasons all the time. Right. <laughs> and like <laughs> I would say the majority. Like, yeah. wait, Right, right, right. <laughs> Overwhelming majority, more than a plurality, and so it's I it's it's just important to remember that maybe you know as as frustrating as those moments are, um, if we're investing in these players and we're we're moving toward something that's that's on a longer arc. Yeah, uh, I think we are. Where but we we, we only have to catch yeah. fire towards the last third of the season. 
You know what I mean? Like that, that's typically yeah. that's how Seattle like lives and dies by the sword. Like, you know, we when we have money now too, because like like you said, like our starting lineup is worth like seventeen dollars. So like we have <laughs> money to be able to spend. You know, and, and, but again, to that point you're saying earlier about the the injuries, the crew has done the, the past five years. We've dealt with injuries very poorly in general like we start the season and like half our team gets injured like there is no foresight to that but i, I think a large a large part of it has to be was nazi because i know before the season there was a lot of rumblings that we had some signings you know in the works and all but done and then he like nixed them because he's like hey i want to see what's going on and i, I have i kind of have no problem with that there's I, i'm sorry like it just to me he had a backup for every position and unfortunately you know degenick's hurt Williams mm-hmm. is hurt. Sands is gone for the season. Yeah. You know, so Williams Molino is, is still we were on the over team. The thinnest, where, where we right. were the thinnest, you know. Like, yeah, we're, yeah. Yes. But, but here, I will down this hill though. Phil Quinton is going to be a top rated MLS defender in his career. When he retires? By the time he has retired, he has been considered a. Really, you want to hear really something crazy? You want to hear a bonker stat? I, I yeah, so so will I. So will I. I won't argue that. But I'm, Trey will argue. murder two years from now. He'll be good. He's going to be no, the smoking I, gun. Like, on the I, I don't think he'll be like that a, a He's got like a Chad Marshall vibe, don't you think? <laughs> Yes. No, yes. I, thought, I thought you were like, he's no Chad Marshall. He kept saying he's no Chad Marshall. Skinnier Chad Marshall. No, no, no. I said the opposite. I said he reminds me of oh, Chad Marshall. Did, did you already say that and I missed it? I'm sorry. No, no, no. Not today. No, I have not said today. Uh, All right. but, but do you know Viasia and Quentin are 23? But, They're the exact same age. They've just taken yeah, different but here, paths. Here, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing, too. Mothers and a couple maybe. of games now, too. <laughs> Confidence had taken a hit, too. Confidence has taken a hit for him. He he knows that he's been making mistakes. I think his confidence is hurting. Um, You know, you can feel the rumblings. You can. He probably reads the socials. You know, I think if Nancy could do one of the biggest things he could probably do for a young player like Quentin is is to find him some sort of cover in the middle to give him some assistance and give him some confidence you, back. You know where this cover, you know, the well. benches have usually like a roof. <laughs> Way Herman. Thank you for the question. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, all right. right. For the contribution. All right. yes. Hopefully we answered your question. You. If not, <laughs> since we, we did not definitely answer. did not <laughs> answer the 20 question. minutes on it. <laughs> yeah, you, right. you know, you know, who's going to start. Tried. Uh, great yeah, question. Great I question. can tell you three starters on the next game. Not well, maybe not the next game, but next Saturday. Oh, this Saturday yeah, Sunday. will be What's Philip Quinton, Viasia, yeah. yep, and Moreira in the back. Yeah, it, it has yep. to. There's just, yeah, there is no other options. The question will be actually be y- Yao Yabo. Actually, sorry. All right, let's hear. Let's, the question will let's, be is, let, yeah, 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 let's yeah. let's yeah. let's kill this and find out how our second team did. Spoiler alert better <laughs> uh let's throw it to the bird and uh and then we'll do our predictions and get out of here to the bird hey guys thanks for having me again first i'd like to apologize i have the superstition that the crew and the crew too always get better results if i work out before the game especially if i go for runs but on saturday i didn't have time to do it so the crew lost but on Sunday, I ran a half marathon, so the Cappies won, even though they played a man down for almost 45 minutes. So yeah, sorry for ruining everyone Saturday night. That's on me. But, you know, I'm glad that the crew too was able to savage the weekend, and that was a tough, well-fought win for them. The first half was well contended between the two teams. Our goal came really early with Academy, Academy standout Taha Habron putting the ball into the net in the third minute. Taha is an incredible talent. He has great vision and is very quick on his feet. I think he magged at least two people in that game. I'm glad he signed his professional contract with the Cappies and hoping that, to see him more on the field. FCC 2 had a good amount of chances in the first half, but didn't have the quality in the attack to capitalize on them. On the second half, Jacob Erlson, who was having a great game, committed a silly foul as the last man and got a straight red. The Cappies would play a man down for the remaining of the, of, of the half. And at that point, I was convinced they would score a goal on us. They had been the better team in the final moments of the first half and continued that way in the second. However, because the Cappies are a very well-coached team and a very disciplined team, they somehow managed to be a better team after going a man down. 
And a big part of that success came from subbing in two usual stars in Abdi Mohamed and Marco Micaleto, both of which had exceptional work rate and quickly fixed our main issue to that point, which had been bad passes in the center of the field. The other shutout has to go to our defense. Center backs Zengen and Holstad did it all. They kept our clean sheet, but also participated in many counters. Zengi, in particular, dribbled to from our box to their box a handful of times, I think. I love that the Cappies are a team that remains aggressive, even though they are men down on the road. And I think that this is the best performance they had as a team this season. Well, you know, if you look how they were, they managed to keep their shape together and keep working and keep creating chances even after going a man down. With this victory, the Crew 2 had, now has the chance to take the first place in the Eastern Conference. They're two points behind uh, the crown, uh, but a game they have a game at hand. And it, the Crew 2 is also only behind the Rapids 2, the tributaries, if you will, in points per game. Fingers crossed. Maybe you'll get to see the Cappies raise the MLSNP trophy here in Denver. Thanks, guys. And let's go, Crew. And we're back. Uh, thanks to President Bird uh, and mm-hmm. great, great uh, win to the crew too against Cincy uh, scum. C- yeah, against, in Kentucky against Cincy. <laughs> what was it? Uh, it's conceivable. Something not hell. Inconceivable. Is real, but it's like, oh, it's, heck, it's plausible. It, oh, heck, heck is possible. Heck yeah, is possible. In, speaking of inconceivable. We are second uh, only to the Princess Bride, the Crown <laughs> Charlotte's uh, number Princess two Joffrey. Team. Crown Royal United. Crown Royal United. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever that Charlotte team is. Okay, um, we're going to do predictions. Uh, the Pittsburgh game we're going to do on the socials. Uh, it's well established by now that the U.S. Open Cup predictions mean a lot. Are are we're not going to do them here. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's find out whether anyone got any predictions from last week. Correct. Mort, why don't you go ahead and run through the results of our predictions from last week for the two league games for the two games, because I, I'd rather just go to the second game. Yeah, I don't for think the, for anything both games, happened on the first one. And then okay. we'll, uh, we'll lay it down for, for the, uh, the Nashville game coming up on, did I hear it was Sunday? I might have said it was Saturday on the intro. Sunday, so my Sunday, bad. Sunday. Sunday, but yeah. it will be in Central Time at eight thirty. There's too much. Uh, that's too much going. That's too much difference. It needs to be Saturday yeah. at seven thirty. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah. Who do I call? Mean, Don Donald Garber. You yeah. mean when you're gonna so, be busy at on so Saturday more, at more laid out. <laughs> We have yeah, some so big news here. We have some pod, big news to break your here. Q-daws. Yeah. So so if 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 you uh have been listening to the pod till now that you know then you know we won um on Wednesday against They fast LA forward Galaxy. to this part. And uh there were results and somebody got points. And uh I got our first previous... correct prediction of the whole season. Why would you want to skim over that? <laughs> that oh, was the Oh, man. that was the first one. No one has yeah. done it right except for me and you know why? It's just cuz I keep you just I'm a stopped clock baby, 2 to 0. You just keep guessing so I would two let to you zero. know that yeah. we had 60 guesses previous to this mm-hmm. round on getting a correct result, mm-hmm. and nobody has gotten the correct result until Wednesday, uh, when obviously Mars got the right result by predicting uh, two nothing. Um, however, everybody else did predict the win. Mm. Yeah, shout out to so, Twitter too. Uh, I think like means- three other people had two nothing. My people, yeah, nice. My people, yeah, yep. My people are on. So we're gonna replace us on the. Pod. So that meant, yeah. I was gonna say we should. Mars hey, Twitter people, points. let's start a new pod. Where we just <laughs> guess two to zero on every game. <laughs> well, I've been guessing three to one a lot. The so Dosa Zero Podcast episode one will be airing next week. All right, go ahead. Teresa Uno. Um. Well, anyways, that means you made a huge jump, and you made it took the lead. So, but uh, for those who also listen to this podcast and follow the crew, we did lose against uh, FC Cincinnati three to two. Um, for those who don't remember, Haas was predicting a drop, so he get no points. Uh, Trey predicted a one nothing loss. Um, 
Ben predicted a win because he's the only one that is not a fair weather fan, whatever that means. Far weather fan. Uh, yeah, far weather fan. Sorry. Uh, I have a, a predicted 3 1 and Mars 2 nothing loss as well. That means we three of us got a point. That means, Mars, you are in such a lead now. You have eight points, two points clear of Ben in second place. Uh, Trey with five points. And listen to this. I'm not the sole <laughs> person in the, in, in in the basement. Back there. So nice. In the basement. So Hoss, join me in the basement for some good bourbon and hanging out in the bar. So, well, oh, good job. Well, so, yeah, I'd much rather have a win uh, on the field than on the prediction scoreboard. Uh, although I will say that. Allegedly. All all signs pregame pointed to a loss. Having watched the game, though, and we talked about it, what we we played pretty well for for losing yes. that game. We played pretty well. So yeah, and just make it clear, we hope the crew wins. Every game. <laughs> yeah. I predicted a don't, win. Don't fall every into the game. trap. We're getting and trolled. I have been ending Mort's up getting last. trolled online. <laughs> you know what? Don't fall into the trap. Yeah, if you don't know that we're crew fans. You are stupid. No, I, <laughs> you can come I, I'm me. not going to call them out. I, I think I think the funny thing is like I think they should try to trigger us. Like as soon as they do, like you suck. That's like if you see Twitter us out, is. yeah, I love it. No, do it. Get it. I have kids. I have a demanding job. I will be triggered. <laughs> yeah. All right. I have stress yeah. in my life. I have to get it out somehow. Yeah. Uh, so to so bring it on, we'll follow no. you home and tell you to stop tailgating. <laughs> So what do you want us? <laughs> so what do you want us to do now? We're going to play like the the second best team in the nation at home yeah, with a Nashville. seven two the no, one and two record at home. Yeah, I mean the only loss was to Cincinnati. They mm. are seven four and three. No, they lost twenty five points. Not at home. Second point is their second place. The crew is five three and five eighteen points. Middle of the pack. Okay. It's a it's a tough place to go. We're going to go in backwards reverse order. So, Ben, lead us off. <laughs> Wait a minute. Tell us what your prediction is for Nashville. Oh, Nashville. All right, I'm actually just this is the first time I've actually gone through and what looked at their what they've All done. Right, you've taken too long. We'll come back. Mort, what's your prediction? to <laughs> Don't feel no, the actually, pressure. So, yeah. yeah. Um, you taking know too long. Next person. All right. Next person. <laughs> we're gonna, Trey, no, we're going to win two, two nothing. Two nothing, two nothing crew. Two we nothing are gonna win. crew away yes. in Nashville. Two, yes. Nothing. Hell yeah. All right. Trey. That was last week. Uh, one, one. One, one. Okay. Haas. One, oh, crew. One, oh. Can you remind me the <laughs> goals for goals away? Stat for Nashville, please. Goals for 19, goals against 9. Wow. Okay. That's like a 2 one. <laughs> and they have four ties. Okay. Ben? Um, I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go 1-0 crew, too. 1-0 crew, too. Crew, too. One so that's o- the next day. Yeah, we're crew. Is that the next day? Crew, two? Cappies? Okay. Oh, day? oh, the crew oh, game. Monday? We're talking about the Columbus crew. Oh, my, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, the one nothing. Crew. One nothing crew. One nothing. one nothing crew. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. The crew's going to lose. It's going to be, uh, one to two. Nashville will win uh, two goals to one against the crew. Um. All right. Uh. Will you will you uh go through that more? Because I it sounded like a lot of people were saying yeah, a win. So here's the thing. Yeah, a lot of people did say a win, and a lot of people really believe in our defense after. We just, yeah. We just, we just, hey, yeah. we shut out the Good galaxy. luck, guys. Good luck, guys. So it's like <laughs> far weather fans. I'm taking uh, Mock Tar out. Haas had oh, us winning one to nothing. Uh, Trey had uh, his second 1 1 prediction of the season. Uh, ben went with the exciting 1 nothing win as well. Just like he can never, I think of all of us, he's the, the best. one. No, he's the one that always picks something somebody else picked. What are you talking? I usually go first. <laughs> and, and he's got a point. <laughs> what do you? I, have, I, I usually have, go first. I have I like two, two times you haven't gone first. 
I have faith in our defense. Quentin's going to be player of the game. He's going to score one on the corner. He's going to get a goal and a clean sweep. Wow. Do you think he's going to be goal. man of the match day? All right, this is way too long. You're no. so drunk. No, it, <laughs> scratch that. Scratch that. If, if that uh, happens, you get a Quentin tattoo. We're gonna, and and Mars thinks we're going to lose two to one. I do. I hope we don't. I would love. Because I'd love to be wrong. Fan. I'd love to be wrong. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, so uh, see if you can stay up an extra hour. Um, sure. For me, it will just be normal Central Time time time. And uh, <laughs> what is time? And and truly, truly, I oh, I, I do hope quirky. we I do hope we win. Um. Yeah. That was just <laughs> that was too much against Cincy. Let's uh, let me let me try and just turn my mind around. We're going to do it. We're going to do great. We're totally going to do great. I definitely think we're going to win. Go crew. Go Go crew. Uh, Thanks everyone for joining the club. We hope you'll listen next week and every week, even in the off season to celebrate or commiserate. We'll save you a seat. If you like this podcast, please give us five stars and subscribe. You can email us at upper90clubpod at gmail.com. That's upper90clubpod at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at upper90clubpod. Go crew! Yeah, Pee Wee Herman, when he's saving all the animals from the pet store in Pee Wee's Big Adventure, and he keeps seeing the snake, and he keeps avoiding the snake... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's like, it's like, uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get the, uh, the, I'll get the whatever it was, like the the ferret or whatever. Yeah. And then like, yeah, at the end, he like just comes out with this, you know, with all the snakes in his fingers, <laughs> just like passes out. Yeah.